Hi, I'm uh, Mike from Badger Paddles. I'm down at the Toronto Boat Show with Swift Canoe and Kayak, where uh, we've got the whole range of Badger Paddles represented. Just starting with the models we have, I've got, uh, I've got a rack here of our, our Tripper, which is the most popular paddle that Badger sells. It's a, it's a very traditional otter tail uh, type paddle um, with, a, uh, with a, you know, our sort of signature dihedral ridge, which is a feature that's in all of, in all of the, the paddles, which gives the paddles um, a little bit of a backbone so you can make them a little thinner through the blade, which gives them some flex but also having that ridge gives the makes the paddle a little smoother because it gives the water somewhere to go on the surface of the paddle, a direction of travel. So um, this is a really smooth paddle, a great lake water tripping paddle, and as I said, our, our most popular paddle. The, uh, this, this paddle, one thing that's a little new this year, we've got a lot more options as far as wood types. Predominantly, we've done a lot of cherry paddles and the odd specialty wood paddle in the past. Um, we've got more of the specialty woods and lighter stuff and exotic stuff. This is Ontario butternut and uh, when we first started Badger Paddles I, I made quite a few butternut paddles and then uh, butternut uh, went on the do not cut list in Ontario. There was, um, uh, it, there's a, a, a blight that the, the butternut tree has and, and you're not supposed to cut it anymore but I found a guy who had about 40 boards so we got some butternut paddles this year. Butternut is a really light wood with a pretty uh, dramatic grain and, and, a, and it's quite stiff. So, um, uh, uh, tripper, butternut, right there. This is also a tripper, and this is an, a different wood that we've started with this year. Actually, I, I built some last year. Uh, at the request of many folks who, who, uh, who, who tend to think it's an ideal wood, this is sassafras. And I had nothing, to, I didn't know very much about sassafras. Uh, it grows in southern Ontario, and um, it's also a really light wood, like the butternut, but it has a lot of flex. So if you really like a flexible paddle with a lot of flex in the blade, then uh, check out our, our sassafras paddle. Now here is the cherry, which is you know, still the paddle that I use more, most often and still the paddle we will sell the most of. Cherry is a, a good hard wood, um, medium weight. It's, it's actually a really nice weight to carry around all day and, and it's a really sturdy solid wood. So if you're a you know, someone who uses your paddle pretty hard but wants a decent weight and a beautiful paddle that oils really well, feels good in your hand. Uh, cherry is still a, a really good way to go. This is the, our Badger Tail, which is a traditional beaver tail style paddle. Um, really versatile paddle. Uh, a lot of similar characteristics to the, to the tripper or otter tail, except that if you get into a little shallower water and you can't get your whole blade in, this is a um, this is a good paddle because there's still a fair bit of uh, meat to work with down there. So if you're, you know, crossing over from lakes to rivers, uh, this is probably a, a really one good one to consider for for versatility. So here's a walnut paddle, and this is a, a badger sliver. And um, Another take, what we call, you know, te um, traditionally a modified otter tail or just a different version of an otter tail. Uh, a little longer in the blade and a skinnier paddle. So um, this is my favorite paddle. I love how smooth and quiet this paddle is. I also, uh, I find that it moves the boat completely adequately without really stressing. I've got a sore shoulder and it, and it, uh, it, it, I find it a little lower impact on my body and still very effective. Not the, you know, not an ideal paddle if you get into a river or shallow water because there's not a lot of bl blade down low. Um, I tend to trip, if I go tripping, you usually have a spare paddle in the boat. And this is the other paddle that I carry, and that is the shallow water paddle. This, is, this was a new model last year, we call it the Bonga. And basically it's a, a shallower teardrop style otter tail, or sorry, beaver tail paddle. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot of people just throw a, you know, a cheap paddle in the boat or, a, you know, um, a, an aluminum paddle in the boat as their spare. My thing is if I'm going to bring a spare paddle along, I'm going to bring a paddle that, that, that's a little bit different. So when different, I may actually use my spare in certain parts of the trip as well if I'm going to carry it anyway. So those are the, the models that we're offering now. This is another wood, I've, and I've showed you most of the woods. This is, this is a, um, a badger tail in tulip wood, which is a, a lighter wood in the poplar family. Uh, we varnish it because it's a little softer, but it's nice and light and, and a little less expensive. Um, 
And some of the tulip has, it's piece by piece it's very different, but some of it has really nice grain. So that's, that's the tulip wood. Um, and we have one thing that's a little bit new, and uh, it's not being offered yet, but it will be offered very soon. And this is a, a new paddle design. We have a dealer in Austria who, who also sells swift canoes in Austria. They're called CCB. And uh, Wolfgang Hobling of CCB designed a paddle that he wanted me to, it's their 10th year in business this year. And uh, he had a paddle shape that he really wanted us to, to work on for him. So uh, it's, it's in the category again of an otter tail, but a little different otter tail shape, a little wider in the middle. Um, and a little finer in the tip. It's a really quiet paddle. I've had uh, Skip and Bob, a couple of the guys in, it, in, the, in the pool here, testing it, and they love it. So uh, looks like we'll be adding this to the, to the lineup as well. Another different thing about this, so CCB is the dealer that, that we designed this paddle for, who actually designed the paddle and we we're building it for. Um, they asked, they also named it. And uh, there's a lake just north of Badger Paddles where, where we live. Uh, it's called Lake Sasib, and it sounds a lot like Lake CCB. And Wolfgang actually spends quite a bit of Ontario, time in Ontario and is familiar with this lake. So, so this is the Sasib, and it's, and it's been designed by Wolfgang Hobling of CCB in Austria. So a really great paddle and, and something that's different. We've done uh, a Northwood style grip on this paddle. So for folks that like to change their, their position on the, on the blade, on, the, on their grip once in a while, there's the Northwood in really flexible tulip wood. Most of these paddles are oiled aside from the kids paddles and the tulip wood paddles. Um, oil is really versatile so and you don't have to be really finicky as to what type of oil you use for maintenance but what we like to use <coughs> we've actually branded and packaged the stuff that we like to use. This is badger wood oil and that's how these paddles are finished all of these oiled paddles it's a non-toxic uh, oil, uh, comes from hemp oil, similar to the pro production of food grade hemp oil. And uh, if you're looking for a good non-toxic way of, of treating your paddle, this stuff works great, it's what we use. It's also food safe, so it's great on cutting boards and, and butcher blocks and, and all sorts of stuff. So great maintenance pro product and works on gunnels as well. And of course, we always do our Badger Paddle Sock. Every adult paddle comes with a badger paddle sock um, to protect it and also so we don't have to ship you a paddle in a throwaway plastic sock. We try not to, we no, we try not to create very much garbage. So there's the badger paddle sock, works well, really versatile. You can buy them individually for other, other paddles also. And then um, one thing that we've changed a little bit this year is our, our Cubs kids paddles. Uh, previously our cubs were a, an otter tail shape and they were a little longer in the blade at the request of some dealers and some folks that have used them or used them with their kids. Uh, we went to a beaver tail style paddle and we, and we changed the proportion of blade to shaft so it's a little longer in the shaft, a little less blade. Um, and we've also gone, this is the only paddle that we laminate. Everything else is a one piece paddle. Um, I find with, with these paddles, uh, lamination is a little more stable. One piece of poplar going too wide um, can, be, can sometimes warp, and this is a very stable, solid way of, of doing our kids' paddles. We've also done one other thing this year. Um, we've done some, a lot of people wanted um, a little higher end kids' paddle, a, a hardwood kids' paddle. So we're offering um, a youth type paddle now. Um, Young Badgers, I believe, is what we've, we've settled on. And the Young Badgers don't come with a paddle sock, uh, but essentially are you know, the same as our adult paddles. And, and they're offered in lengths of 56, sorry, 46, 48, and 51. This is a 51 inch Young Badger. And I believe that shows you the whole range of Badger paddles.